Hey Film Friday, uh, I want to welcome you to Elmhurst College. Uh, we're going to talk today about our three-step game. We're a heavy RPO team, so our three-step game really complements what we do uh, in our RPO game and our run game. Film Friday, how's it going? Um, my name is Christopher Norton. I'm the offensive coordinator here at Elmhurst College. Uh, one of the things talking about our three-step game today, and we're going to go through what we have in our three-step game are mirrored concepts. So whatever's called, both sides of the ball are going to run it, whether it's in a two-by-two two set or a three-by-one set. Um, so for us to start here, one of the things that's big for us is being able to use our three-step concept uh, with our RPO game. So we don't have to teach new RPO things. Uh, all we have to do is teach our three-step game. We start really early on in camp. We, we teach it um, right off the bat. We usually start in this order. We kind of go our fade, slice, slant, whip, hook, hitch, roll, and rock. Now those are our terminologies. Some people call things, uh, you know, obviously their own thing. But for us, we're going to go through our mirrored concepts and we're going to start with the fade because to me I think that's probably the easiest one and I'm a former receiver so I know that former receivers, hey the fade ball, I'm open, right? Just throw me the fade ball. Uh, so um, it's either that or four verts. Uh, so then we're talking about a three-step three, three step game here. Uh, we're going to start with we're going to start with our fade. So first thing that we'll talk about is our outside routes. Okay, when we get to them, our outside routes here, we've got fades on the outside. And for me, fade on the outside is a mandatory outside release, and I don't want the numbers to go or the routes to go anywhere below the numbers. Okay, so um, you want to stay right on the bottom of that. You don't want to choke off your route by getting too close to the sideline. You want to be able to give the quarterback room for error. Okay, so you want to be able to give yourself enough area for that. So out of this right now, we're in a three by one set. And what we've got going on here is he's going to have a fade. He's going to have the fade. He's going to have here what we call a slip route. Okay, and for us, our slip route is we are aiming at the head up to inside defenders inside shoulder. Okay, so for here, he should be coming out, going inside this guy and trying to get vertical, seeing if we can take this guy with him. Okay, we're noticing right here that there's some sort of an off coverage. So odds are we're not going to throw the fade here. Uh, odds are the quarterback is going to go here and try to read the flat defender. All of our three step stuff is off of reading the flat defenders. Um, so for us right now, quarterback's going to be here. Now, one of the things is right off the bat, the first one, um, we're going to have a, a sack on it. We should never take a sack on a three step. But this is what happens when the quarterback has predetermined who he's going to go to and it's already been cut off. Um, so for us, you know, I, I think we learn more from, from losses than we do from wins. Okay, so for, for us right now, we're going to go through this and see what happens. Now, he should be reading this guy here. If this guy expands at all, we're going to throw it right over the top of him. All right, and this route right here, we call it the looky route. Okay, so you get right past the linebacker and look back to the quarterback. There he is. Now, we've expanded a little bit too far. That quarterback right now should be releasing the ball. You see he's looking right down in here. He should be releasing this thing right in here into this gap. All right, so that right there is our fade concept with the looky route. All right, so on this next clip, we're going to go through the fade again. Again, we have the, our outside fade route going down the bottom of the numbers. Outside fade route. Um, him here, he's going to run our slip route. That's what we call it, slip. You're going to attack inside here. This guy steps up, then get vertical and see if you can take this guy with. All right, so one of the things here, you'll identify the quarterback has identified. Hey, we're going to run this looky route. I'm looking at trying to see if I can get on this guy right here. Okay, so you see here he makes a better decision. There's the routes. This bait, throw over the top, touchdown. I think it's a pretty good, pretty good read by him, identifying right now, making sure that this guy, hey, take some guys with you. You can run this route a little bit wider because they're playing a little bit too off. We're gonna try to we're try to pick on this guy here. Way too deep in his drop, but again, that's our quarterback making a decision. Hey, I've decided that I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna buy myself a little bit more time. Next concept, we call it slice. And slice for us are slants on the outside and slip routes on the inside. So for us right now, just looking at this, we've got one step slant coming on the inside, one step slant coming on the inside. These guys are attacking the same thing. It's our slip concept. Slip concept is you're basically attacking you know, the head up 
to inside defender to you, you're attacking his inside shoulder. If he takes off, then you get vertical now. If he decides he's gonna go with you, then keep him with you because we're gonna open up gaps. Um, so for us right now, we're gonna read the flat defender. We're reading this guy right here. What does he do? If he turns and expands on here, we should be throwing the slip right up, right up here. So right now, he's got attention of him. This guy has looked, the flat defender has looked to see if there's a slant coming in here. We should put it right on this right here, in, the, in this window. Again, what has happened here is he's predetermined that he's gonna throw it to the inside slip route. Inside slip route is covered right now, and now he's making a bad decision to be able to go down. Now that's one of the things, you know, again, I said we can learn off of, of these kind of things, uh, and I think it's big for our quarterback, uh, especially going into next season. So slice concept, again, you know, for us, uh, our three-step, again, complements our RPO. So we will run, this is one of them that we do run a bunch with that. Um, identifying that there's a man-to-man -man coverage. You know, we're gonna read a flat defender. Well, it's a man, man coverage. So where's the next nearest defender that's gonna end up, you know, taking away our route? So for us backside, this man-to-man, -man, we can win on that. We always feel we can win. Okay, as a receiver, you're always gonna win anyways. Uh, I always joke with my guys, I've been a receiver my whole life, I've never been covered one down. Uh, so I joke with those guys about being the same thing. Coach, I was open. Well, no you weren't, you were double covered. All right, so right here, we're gonna have a slant here. We have the outside linebacker. He's gonna take away the slant if we try to throw it because that side of the field is short, okay? So for us, we're automatically looking to go here. Now, where we were at in this game, our quarterback said he wanted to take a shot. So he was going to try to, Sell everyone to go here. Well, on a three-step, it should be catch, step, throw. All right, so we should be coming down here to the slant. But again, that slant's open. Everyone else is taking, taking guys deep. Quarterback's already made a decision. I'm gonna try throwing it over top, and he just over, overthrows it a little bit, okay? I wouldn't have been mad at him if he completes it to this guy right here, because he's got nobody, nobody on him, all right? So that's our, that's our slice concept. The next one is slant. And slant for us, basically, it's just all slants. And everyone should take a one-step slant, okay? In this picture here, we we're lucky enough to get a pass interference off this, but he went to the right side. We went FSL, which is formation of the sideline for us. Uh, he's gonna make a decision. This guy's gonna beat this guy. Again, we always feel that. So I'm gonna take my one step, catch, step, release. All right, throwing right now on that slant. So front side, okay, so formation of the sideline, front side. We have our one-step slant, one-step slant, get inside. Right now, though, we've got all this real estate. Go and play, all right, go and play. Let this guy be a dude, okay? All right, whip concept. In our three-step game, um, we try to tag a lot of things with whip. So the way that we do this, being a, a mirrored concept and everything that we do, we can tag things with a whip. So right now we're saying whip concept. For us, the inside receivers are running whips. Outside receivers are running fades. And for us, our fade concept, mandatory outside release, gotta get to the bottom of the numbers to keep guys away from us. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We got double whips here. Now what we talk about is we talk about leverage. Which guy has the most leverage? So right now, we're gonna say this whip up here has more leverage, all right? So he's gonna look there. And one of the things to talk about quarterbacks is looking in one area, but seeing everything else, okay? So he's looking, all right, I've made a decision. I got better leverage up here. I'm already gonna go to this side. So this side of the field, just based on who we've got playing, uh, playing in the slot and who we've got playing on the outside. What ends up happening is here, and you see the quarterback's footwork, Getting ready to throw, he's got a little hitch right here. So he's, he wants to throw this, we still have leverage. So he was right, we don't have leverage here, we've got leverage here. This, this uh, outside linebacker is in a trail technique, but one of the things that he's noticing as he's watching this outside linebacker is he can see through here and see that we've, we've won right now on the fade, okay? We've won, so he's gonna hold it for a second. He's got too much of a base going on right now and he tries to throw it with just his core and he ends up over, under throwing this guy, he's won, right? So right now we have a win, okay? So he should be throwing this thing over the top. This guy's gonna be running down, running down the sideline. Okay, next concept we have here is our hook concept. We've got hitches on the outside and slip routes on the inside. Basically gonna say, where's our best matchup? 
Best matchup right now. I'm gonna throw it to the outside shoulder of this guy. Gives us a win. What it also does for us then is start making this guy play outside a little bit more. You know, it's like stealing. We always talk about stealing. Where can we steal yardage? Right now, this guy, he's stealing, okay? Now, if the quarterback were to go to up, up top, we're reading flat defender. This guy has rolled down. We've identified that he's the flat defender. Well, he's gonna take this. We've got a hitch sitting all the way on the outside. Again, that should be stealing, okay? He's not wrong either side now. Our hitch concept is all hitches. We'll go through So here's a two by two set for us. Where's leverage? Well, they got three playing over two and only two playing over two here. This guy's inside the box, so we're not gonna count him right now as a defender, all right? Throw it now, outside shoulder, good decision, get up field. Simple mathematics. My guys always joke with me because I'm always talking about, talk about the math, guys, talk about the math. All right, so here's the three by one. Math's always easy when there's not one guy covering one guy. All right, so you're one on none. We're gonna throw that every time. So right now, we've identified, hey, there's nobody covering this inside guy. Once you catch, catch and throw right now. Give him a chance. And I don't even like the route, but this guy took off the line of scrimmage and realized the backside safety who's lined up on the other hash is covering me. I'm gonna get the ball thrown to me right now. All right, so he's got his shoulders turned. He's trying to catch and run up field. All right, so we're staying in our hitch concept. Now they're playing man coverage, all right? They're down here playing pressed, okay? So once we've identified they're playing pressed, we're basically saying, and I've told my quarterbacks, I've told my receivers, we've won, all right? We're going forward, they're going backwards. Give us a chance to, to throw this thing up there. So right now we identify, we're in three by one. He could be covering him, he could be covering him. Just looking at this, guys are walking around. So right now I've identified that, hey, they're in a true man, they're staying in it. All right, take this dude. It's a shorter throw. We're gonna launch that thing up there and give him a chance. We're gonna say, hey, we're giving you the chance now. We practice this probably two or three times a week on just fade balls, making sure that our guys can go up and get it. We practice different angles catching the fade balls, but it's all catch and throw. Quarterbacks catch, catch, step, throw. One of the things on that is a great route by a receiver. He stays in the bottom of the numbers and gives all the yardage on the outside. So quarterback throws it over him. Now he can expand from the defensive player and that guy's never gonna be able to make a play on it. Okay, so if he stays at the bottom of the numbers, he's got seven yards. I always talk to the guys, again, talking about math. Every single football field in the, in the country, uh, the bottom of the numbers to the sidelines, seven yards. So you have seven yards to play with. You know that every time. So even if you wanna go two yards outside, you still give yourself five yards to play. Right? As long as you're outside, then you're gonna win. Our roll concept, okay? Roll concept for us, our inside receivers are gonna run our slip routes. You're gonna get inside, you're gonna get the attention of this guy, okay? Get the attention of this guy. Outside guys are doing two-step roll routes. We're gonna end up probably at about four yards when we run this. So your first two steps, because our inside legs are up, we're gonna take one, two, start rolling to the sideline. So this is a good job by our slot receiver here identifying, hey, this guy's gonna expand right now. I'm gonna go now and expect to look to see if, he can, if he's not gonna put it right on me. All right, now, at this point in the game, we're sitting on ourselves. We're in the right, right middle here. I'd say both sides, both sides are, are open for us to go to, okay? Now, I would say this over here probably has a little bit less room, but this is a dude, all right? This is one of our, you know, two of our top receivers on the outside here. He's gonna go to this side. Okay, have a mishap in protection. Guy ends up batting this thing down, but here's the concept all together. And we got this, we got this, roll and roll. And this, guy, this cat's a little bit too deep, but sometimes he doesn't know his own speed. So one of the things that's big, and we talked about in the very beginning that we have these mirrored routes, and the reason we talk mirrored routes is because we can tag our concepts with something else, okay? So for example here, we've got a three-step, we've got a three-step, we got bubble on this side and we've got roll on this side, okay? And we didn't walk through the bubble because it takes a little bit longer to, to um, describe what we do in our bubble game. But, so we've got a bubble on this side and a roll route on that side. Okay, so quarterback's gonna basically say, based on numbers, where do I go? Well, if this guy's playing off, he's playing this many yards off, you just throw this thing now. Throw it now. There's less, there's less people involved, 
when you go to one man to one man versus one man to one man relying on another man on the outside. Okay, so right now, again, we talk about stealing. That guy's playing that far off. We got this, step thrown out, bam. Now just get up field and make something happen. All right, get up field and make something happen. All right, our next concept is our rock concept. Okay, and for the rock concept, basically what we're saying is we've got fade routes on the outside and we've got the roll routes that we just talked about on the inside. And the roll routes are still the same. You have two steps, try to expand yourself and get to the, get to the sidelines. So here it is. Now, one of the things that's crucial, it's crucial for us is that this is a mandatory outside release it's because if there's a guy out here, we want to make sure that this guy doesn't see the roll route coming to him from the inside. Okay, so if, if you don't release outside and you come inside this guy because you think you have a better release on that and he sees the roll route and he comes and picks this thing off, okay, then that's on you, right? Everyone's got their job. You know, we talk about doing your 111. Everyone do your 111 and we're gonna be good. So again, we're reading flat defenders. All right, we'll talk about that. So where's leverage? Always talking about leverage. You know, he's playing inside of this receiver, so he's in the box. So we know that this guy has to be a box player, okay? Just based on what they're doing, he has to control a gap and a receiver, okay? So we know that this, is, this will be the easiest guy for us to pick on. This guy's not rolling down, we can see that right now. And it's a far throw, right? It's a far throw, but we know that this guy, leverage-wise, this one's probably gonna be out for us, okay? So we're gonna go over here, we got this mandatory. We're gonna read the flat defender. We've already identified that we know that this guy is gonna be the flat defender. We're gonna throw it to this receiver's outside shoulder, see if he can make something happen. Okay, and we'll give one more example of this. Now we're gonna do it out of a motion. We're gonna get this guy to roll out to the flat. So he's gonna roll out to the flat. We're gonna make sure that this guy gets vertical, okay? Now, notice on the drawing, we should say, the bottom of the numbers, okay? We don't wanna to be too far because we, don't want, we wanna be able to catch and have a move to both sides if we were to catch the ball, all right? So one of the big things right now that's gonna end up happening is quarterback is gonna start to throw here because he's, he's saying, well, this here is gonna be my flat defender just based on the way the game's been going. This guy's gonna play man, he might be my flat defender. I'm gonna look here. So he's looking right now to throw this thing. But like I said earlier, we talk about looking, in, looking somewhere but seeing somewhere else, okay? So I can look at this, who I'm assuming is the flat defender, and still see my route on the outside. So what happens here is, he's looking flat defender, but he sees that the corner has come off to jump this out route, and he's gonna put it on the fade right there. All right, we got that whole shot. All right, and that's one of the things that are, that are big for us. So again, talking about, so here's what ends up happening. This guy, he floats himself too far to the sideline, but if he were here, he might be able to catch this thing at his face and make a move on this guy. Then it's just a foot race to the end zone. For us, it ends up being, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a big play. So in a nutshell, that's our, that's our three-step game, okay? And I know that I really want to talk about that because it has a good relationship with our RPO game. Um, and, you know, Here's my contact information. Again, I can be reached uh, on here. If there's anything anybody wants to talk about when it comes to our three-step game, uh, in collaboration with our RPO game, uh, I'd love to have you guys. Thanks for watching this week's Film Friday. Uh, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and like to Coach Allbaugh's page. And if you get a chance, go back and watch last week's.